How's it going guys? Welcome back to Arm Pitching Development. Today we are working on arm mapping. What is arm mapping? This is how we are going to work on what we're trying to feel with our arm, how we're going to use the arm. What we're trying to get out of is what I see a lot of youth guys is they feel like they need to bring the arm back down to work the arm out. Whereas that just adds more stress to the elbow and creates a slower arm action through your pitch. We really want to be able to work the arm up and then work it with the body out and through, keeping it relaxed and allow it to work fluid through your throw rather than force, which is what you'll see a lot of guys that are trying to overthrow or just don't really know how they want to use their arm when they're throwing. Uh, a couple of drills we will go through to work on these is one, our hip rotation and arm action drill. This is just a static movement and it's just trying to feel the arm working with your body and kind of getting the idea of how the arm wants to rotate as we're bringing the trunk through, as we're rotating our hips through to create one fluid movement rather than body going first, dragging the arm through as fast as we can behind it. So we're gonna start with the elbow above the shoulder. We're gonna stay on top of the ball. Uh, when the arm comes through, that is where we are gonna try to feel the difference between allowing the arm to lay back to get behind the ball rather than we see a lot of youth guys is they go to bring the arm up. First thing they gonna do is start the turn and then that causes the elbow to drop back. Like I was saying, we're gonna try to get out of the habit of turning behind the ball early and then leading on through by the elbow and dropping down and allowing the hips to work up through the shoulder and out through the throat. So in front of a mirror is uh, pretty useful for this. So not only are you trying to feel what you wanna do, you can also see it and kind of put those together a little bit more. The important thing on this drill is to feel our weight in our back hip, starting as if we were pushing out from the rubber and then allowing the weight to transfer up and feel that working with the rotation. Now, once we've taken some time to one, just kind of feel what we're trying to accomplish and then two, try to just keep it as simple as possible. We're gonna go into a little bit more dynamic movement and allow being in an uncomfortable plane of motion and working behind the arm allows you to stay with what you're trying to do of working the arm up and allowing the arm to work out and through with the body rather than against the body. So one thing this drill is good for is, one, we're gonna allow the arm to start our movement. So from there, we are already trying to work on and train. Arm going first, body working behind it, which will allow it to catch up and work at once. So we're gonna bring the arm up through the shoulder. From that point, our hips are gonna follow, the chest will follow the ball up. And then once you get turned out through where you're gonna throw, there's really no way to get the ball out front through your throw, except for to feel it working up and then allowing the shoulder to rotate out. If you get up to this position and try to drop, you're gonna feel a difference in, one, the strength of your throw, two, the comfortability of your arm action. As we're done with our uh, lawnmower throws and kind of get an idea of, one, how to move our body in a little more dynamic movement, two, the difference between bringing the arm up and out in front of our body rather than dropping down and dragging behind. Now we're gonna kind of feel how we wanna be able to use our arm more relaxed and allow the arm to whip out in front. Right? You see a lot of younger guys, when they go to throw, it's how everything out front dives straight down and away, and then the arm comes through behind the head. So allowing yourself to work away from your target and allowing your arm to work out as you work away kind of gives you a better feel for a more whippy arm action, as well as the picking up and staying on top of the ball. For this drill, all you're gonna do is be about arm's length away from your uh, target. You're gonna have it start with your hands out together. As you walk backwards, you're gonna allow this, your throwing arm to follow your guide arm straight back and through, and then up through your target as you throw, allowing the other arm to stay still. After you finish your throw, straight back to the ball and going into your second throw. So important things to keep in mind on this drill is we wanna keep our movements or keep walking backwards without stopping. And then two, non-dominant arm, staying still, not pulling to create your throwing motion, but allowing your throwing motion to work on its own a little bit more. Our final drill for arm mapping 
uh, for youth guys trying to get a feel for what they're doing with the arm is our cricket throw. The reason we call it that is because it's kind of based off the idea of cricket pitchers. Allowing the arm to work short and quick rather than real long and drawn out. We have a lot of time for things to kind of get out of sync and as well as change how you want the arm to move a little bit more. So what we're trying to do with this drill is one, be in a position where we really have nowhere to go, but where we want our arm to take our chest. So if you got a guy that has a hard time with dropping the arm down and back and then dragging from underneath, not staying on top, or guys that want to drop out to the side to throw, this kind of puts them in a position where they're going to have to feel the shoulder working the arm up rather than trying to take the ball to work the arm up. So what we'll do is we'll start here on top against the chest, and then we're going to walk into the throw. As you take your step in, we're going to use the shoulder to rotate back, bringing the ball in the chest with it. As you stride out, now we're going to bring the arm up through the shoulder. The important thing is we're going to stay on top and really feel the back of the hand leading the ball up rather than the ball trying to work in front. From there, we're gonna go into our reverse cricket drill, which is the same exact throw, but again, we're gonna go working backwards and get a little bit better feel for letting the arm work through our target, keeping the weight back rather than trying to dive in front. So there is our kind of a series of drills that we work through for our arm mapping stuff. Uh, if you got a kid that doesn't really know how to change their movements, gets comfortable with what they're already doing and are having a hard time getting them to feel something different, these are kind of different positions that you can have them work out of. Hopefully you get some use out of this video. Uh, for more trips, tips, drills, and videos, please hit the subscribe button. And until then, see you guys next time.